Helpful for life. All right, so let's talk about one of my favorite veggies, broccoli. I mean, it's so cool. It's kind of like a rainforest. Like, look, you got all these nice little trees, and you got all the uh, stems, which are kind of like tree trunks. I mean, one of the cooler vegetables, in my opinion. Plus, who doesn't like blowing trees or whatever it's called when the kids eat broccoli these days? Anyways, one way to cut up broccoli is basically the main thing you're trying to do is get rid of the very base of the stalks because that's a little tougher, doesn't have as good texture. Uh, so really, the main thing you want to do is you're going to kind of cut that off. And then the other thing you're trying to achieve is you want all of the individual trees, if you will, uh, also called a floret, if you want to use the real word, uh, each of the florets to be separate. Oven's ready to go. So yes, we want to separate the florets so that way they can cook better. So one way to do this is just with a good old pair of kitchen shears. And this is good, especially if you're not as comfortable with the knife yet. And also it's kind of easy and fun to just cut individual florets off. So that's one way you can do it. Another way is you just take the knife and you cut at the base here. Get this last straggler. And so you see, this is the main thing you're trying to get off. And you can see these guys are still kind of held together. So what you can do is you can either just pull them apart like this, or you can take your knife and just cut off a little bit more. And eventually you'll get most of the florets all separate like that. And if you have a big guy like this, you can cut him in half. And if you want them to get nice and crispy when you're roasting them, I recommend cutting them somewhat smaller. But and then also they can sit flat on the plant, pan that way. But yeah, that's how you cut up some broccoli.